Hey y'all, Chelsea from Knitting Tipsy here, and it is time for another episode of Design Diaries. No, for real, I just want to talk to you about the shit I'm making. Um, cheers. We're drinking some rosé from Chandon. My mommy and daddy, several years ago, got me a club membership to Club Chandon. So I get champagne delivered to my house like once a quarter. <laughs> Like one of the best gifts ever. Um, one of my very dear family friends who has since passed on, Mrs. Canavese, Laura Canavese, she taught me when I was like 14, 15. I mean, I, you won't expect this of me, but I, I didn't drink underage until I was 20. I just, I was never, like never drank, never, I was, I was a different person back then. I like who I am now though, so it's okay. But um, she taught me that you should always have a bottle of champagne in your fridge. Don't save it for special occasions. Always have a bottle of champagne or bubbly. You know, you could do Prosecco or, you know, Cava, anything with bubbles. Because some days you just need to celebrate. It could be a random Tuesday that you just need to celebrate yourself. It could be a Thursday and a friend gets a, a promotion. So always have a bottle of champagne chilled in your fridge. Life lessons that I will always heed right there. But anyways, <laughs> off topic. Um, I wanted to show you guys some of the designs that I have been making lately. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this one quite a bit, but um, it is a completed design that is now available for my Kofi subscribers. Um, it's, it's tutorial style if you decide. I know I'm really leading up to this, not showing it yet. Um, but if you decide you want to make it, it is my first tutorial style video. I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do if I just wanted to show y'all the process or actually create a tutorial. So um, yeah, if you become a Kofi member, you can tell me what you think and um, if you'd like me to continue in that vein. I don't know if you can hear the growls. My mommy's dog Lulu is visiting us and I think she wants to go inside. I'll be right back. Okay, she's inside now. Anyway, so like I said, this is available on my Kofi, but it is my Bellini birthday bralette. And so named because my um, subscribers and I, we decided that the beading looked a lot like um, champagne and peaches. So I was like, oh my God, Bellinis. And then it just kind of came from there. And this was the design that I created for my birthday to wear on my birthday. So we turned it into a bit of a theme. My husband made Bellini cupcakes for me and I had Bellini, the cocktail, for breakfast. I had cupcakes for breakfast too, quite honestly. So it was a very Bellini birthday. And this is my Bellini birthday bralette. So um, I have, this is now the second top that I've designed in this similar, oh, like a positive ease, oversized boxy bralette um, I have I've posted some pictures of it it's a it's a pink bra, uh, bralette that I made with super glow fiber yarn it's amazing I'm leaning towards something with the word Barbie in it to call the design but um, I will eventually be writing up a pattern for that top but this is it was similarly made with um, the V in the front and the very boxy bralette kind of fit um, I know this has a name and I can't think of it. I should have written it down. I should probably start taking notes for these. Anyways, it's a specific type of style bralette, but I really like it. I think it's flattering on me, but I've really been wanting to work with beads more. Um, so I decided to just go for it and I did beaded straps, which that was an adventure learning to make these. Um, I had bought the beads I don't know, a month or two ago on sale at Joann's. And I was like, I just want to bead something. So I bought all these beads. Well, then when this idea started coming together, I didn't pay any sort of attention to the size hole of the beads, um, which made it slightly difficult because there were other beads I wanted to use, but I could not get my needle through some of the beads. Um, I did use a beading needle. It didn't matter because the yarn that I was using is a sport weight yarn and it just couldn't, couldn't pull her off, 
couldn't pull her off. So I used the beads that I could and I created beaded fringe. Um, again, there was probably a better way to make beaded fringe, but um, I have this fear thing that I do when I don't know how to do something, I just won't do it. And then I'll like either look up how to do it the right way or I just won't do it at all. And I knew I could look up how to do beaded fringe, but I was just, it was kind of a, a mental exercise for me. I was just like, just try it, just try something. And if it doesn't work, then that's fine and we'll pull it out. And I had to give myself such a pep talk for that that I might be doing it wrong. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad that we're so conditioned that like sometimes we won't even try things? But I did, I tried it and um, it was tedious the way that I did it and took a really long time. But you know what, fuck it, I did it and I'm proud. So I did make beaded fringe, but I do plan on learning if there are better and quicker ways to make beaded fringe. But I really love how it looks on the bottom here and when I walk, I just love this sound. Um, I wore this to the Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World for the day before my birthday. Um, and it held up really well. I was like, I, I think I did pack like a little t-shirt in my bag in case straps broke or I started um, losing beads everywhere. I felt pretty confident in how well I wove in the ends. But you know, just in case, just in case as we're moving around, standing in line, bumping into things, I wanted to make sure I wouldn't be topless at Disney World. <laughs> Which I wasn't, so it was good. Um, but yeah, and it was super comfortable. That was the other thing that I was a little bit worried about was with the, the beading on the straps. I picked these beads in particular because they felt smooth. I didn't think they'd dig into my shoulders, but I wasn't sure with the weight of the top if um, that would be a problem. And it wasn't, this was so comfortable. I was probably in it for about eight hours. And then I also wore this to the beach yesterday as a tankini, I don't know, my own kind of bikini top. And it was also really comfortable. Um, it inspired me when I was wearing it at the beach because while I loved it with the um, thong bottom that I wore and I, I felt really good in it, um, I did occasionally like bending over in the sand and doing stuff, a strap would fall down and it's so loose because it has positive ease. Um, so thank God for nipple covers because I may have flashed the beach otherwise. Um, so it gave me an idea. I do want to make another one with um, some neutral or negative ease um, and make the straps a little bit snugger on my body so that I could wear it as a um, bikini or tankini top if I decided. I mean, I can wear this one too, but I just think it would be um, more secure, more less, less likelihood of having a wardrobe malfunction. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, like I said, if you end up really liking this and you'd like to make one, all the instructions for how to make it, um, how to math out for your own body, um, the instructions for making the cups, for seaming it together, all that jazz is on my Kofi. So you can head to the um, description of this video if you'd like to make it yourself. But that was my first design that I have finished that I wanted to talk about. The next one, <laughs> I've been teasing this since November and I'm going to stop teasing. Um, I have started to feel so much better about this design now that I've taken off any deadline for it. Um, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this on my YouTube. I've definitely talked about it on my Instagram and in my email um, subscribers list, but I keep expecting myself to get this done and mental health has just been kind of ups and downs this January um, and other new commitments have been popping up. So I've been pushing this project back, but it is my Palm Beach pullover, which I'm loving and will eventually come out, but I've taken the deadline away and it's made me feel better. I don't know when it will be finished. I don't know whenever I will be putting out a tester call. Um, I do think it will be this winter slash early spring. Um, I haven't given up on it by any means. Everything's going great with it. I just don't always have a lot of time to work on it. But I wanted to show you, I now have the front panel done. 
I think the very first episode um, of these design diaries, I was talking about this as a design fail um, with the original sample that did not have the envisioned ease. Um, so we're now at the point where I place this on and I love it, love the width of it. However, <laughs> I do think um, I made the body a little too long. Um, having worked with Trubu, which is the yarn that this uses um, several times now, if you use it as a dress, um, especially with knitting, it grows just from hanging on your body and that's not even with blocking it. So um, yeah, I had measured the like on my body how far I thought I wanted it to go down. Um, and when I was holding it up on myself, I'm like, oh, this is great. And then actually when it finished, I'm like, mm, I think it's like two inches, mm, maybe maybe an inch. One to two inches too long. I just think when the weight actually hits, it's going to be at that awkward, oh, is it a dress kind of length, which is not what I want. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and make the back panel and then make a decision. And if I have to, which is fine because there's no deadline, um, I will frog the V completely and I'll just come down um, about an inch or two and then start that V again so that it is the perfect length. But I'm figuring all this out now so that y'all won't have to. So the Palm Beach pullover, eventually coming in the future at some point in time. Okay. The next design that I want to show you all is for one of my favorite humans. It is Nikki Carter on Instagram. She is Fio Adventures. Um, I don't think she has a YouTube yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Nikki and her husband, John, live on a sailboat in the Bahamas. They come back to Florida during hurricane season and then head back down. But um, she is an art director and a graphic designer and an amazing artist. Uh, if you've bought um, most of my patterns, I don't think the earliest ones she did. But any of my patterns and you've gone, oh my gosh, look how pretty the pattern is. Like the actual artwork, is, that's her. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> um, but she makes uh, everything look beautiful and she is just amazing. And she showed me this top, oh, September, October. And she was like, could you make that? And I looked at it and tried to do like a reverse search to see if it was a pattern anywhere and I didn't find one for it. So I was like, yeah, I think I could make that. So that's what I'm doing, finally, now in February. Um, I'm going to the Bahamas next weekend. Can't believe it's already next weekend. Um, to see them and hang out on the boat and the Exumas. So excited, me and my husband are going. So um, I'm going to give it to her as her birthday gift, which means I have to figure this out in the next week. I just said I don't set deadlines for myself. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, I can make it for less than two weeks. But really, I, I think I should be able to. So it's this gorgeous yarn from Hobie, this pretty coral reddish orange color. Um, it's their 8-8 cotton, so it is a DK worsted weight. I think it's more of a DK than a worsted. But it's going to be, let me show you the ends here. So we've started some sharp ass decreases from the ribbing on the bottom and the, the decreases with the I-cord, I'm wondering if I'm going to end up frogging this, but it's a little tight. I'm hoping maybe when I block, see like when I pull it, I feel like it looks really nice, but it does because I'm decreasing by two stitches. I am getting these like little pucker waves. Um, I'm hoping it's going to block out. I'm probably going to do another inch or two because it's just stockinette and it's really, it, it's really nice to work on. Um, but I would like this to be a sharp decrease, but maybe without these waves. These are going to be the ties on the side. This is a cropped open back. It's going to tie around the back um, top with a V-neck and I-cord straps that then go down to the bottom. Um, she showed me the picture. I was just like, oh my gosh, that's so cute and simple. But actually figuring out how to design it took me a while. I have spatial awareness, like seeing a 3D object and then figuring out how to how to like deconstruct it and take it apart is a challenge for me, which I'm probably in the wrong field for as a designer, but 
here we are. But I think I figured out how I'm going to do it. So I'm, I cast on the number of stitches that I was going to need for the ties on the side and for the center, like what we would consider like the width of the top. I've seen other designs where you actually knit the panel flat and then you do increases and you add on the sides, like the straps kind of to the side and then they lengthen out. But I didn't, I don't know. I just felt like I could do it this way. <laughs> so maybe it's wrong, but again, I'm trying to do things like my way. There's more than one way to do things and we'll see if this is an epic fail. But I think I can do the same thing and I, I kind of like that she'll be able to cinch it and it's the seamless body that comes down and ties. Um, and it'll, you know, come up. So if these are the ties on the sides, you know, it'll eventually come up to like under the bust um, is about where I want us to hit that point where this is now like the smallest part that is the body. And then it's going to continue. I'll start split for the V here and we'll make two V cups and then add those I cord stitches. So I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, I like the ribbing too. I, when I was envisioning this, I was like, oh, so I'd have the ribbing here, but not on the sides. But then I looked at both the picture that she provided and kind of thinking how that would look without like with ribbing starting. It's like, no, 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 we're gonna do the ribbing the whole way through. So um, I'm pretty excited, I think. It's gonna look cute. I think I'll be able to make a lot of progress. This is two days worth of progress, so. Um, I'll be able to make a lot of progress today, hopefully to the point where I can say, yes, this works and just keep going with it. Or mm -mm, I'm gonna frog back to the ribbing and figure out a way so that this doesn't have these nice little puckers here. Although, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. Plus this is the part that you're tying. We shall see. We shall see what happens. But that will be something y'all will probably see relatively quickly because like I said, we go to the Bahamas this weekend. I plan on giving it to her, doing lots of fun fashion shoots um, and things like that. We have, we have a lot planned and that will actually be the next daily life vlog that I'm filming. So this will be out this Friday, next Friday I have something else for y'all and then the following Friday, which will be the Valentine's Day weekend will be the video of um, our trip to the Bahamas. So, should be a good time. But I wanted to give y'all an update on these designs. My chatty Cappy. Anyways, that's all for me. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching this video and for all of your support and comments, likes, please share this if you think somebody might like it. And if you have any um, questions or advice or suggestions on some of these designs, your, your opinions are always welcome as long as they are positive and you keep constructive criticism kind. Don't make me sad, y'all. Anyways, have a great weekend, y'all.